Hello, and welcome to this eBay ad of a 1984 Buick LeSabre Limited. It's got 75,000 original miles. It's got original paint. It's got fairly new tires, about 90% to 95% left on the tread. Beautiful chrome. It's got new fillers, new bumper fillers on it. That I didn't do, but the previous owner did, because there's no way they're original. The body straight, never been hit. The Carfax is clean. I've bought this car actually a year ago tomorrow. Today is February 2nd. So, I mean, the car's not perfect. Like I said, original paint, 100%. They must have hammered these owners because they got the undercoating, they got the window etching. I'm sure they got the vinyl top and I'm sure they were charged for it. But this is the vinyl top. It's in decent shape, it's original. When I got the car, these pieces here were missing. So I put some chrome here. You can finish that up right here. No rips anywhere. Maybe a couple splits down here or under here, but nothing, you know, nothing bad at all. Um, like I said, I dyed it. My son and I actually dyed it because we bought this car as a project. Here's a split here, so you can tell. Here's another um, chrome piece. But I saw this. This was out back at a dealership. Um, a little bit ways uh, down from here, about 20 miles from here. Driving by, I saw it. And I grew up in these areas where these cars were everyday cars. And I couldn't have it just sit there or go to a junkyard or anything with 75,000 miles on it. So I wanted to take it and I wanted to show my son that if you work hard and you put some elbow grease into it, it could be nice. So what I did was I put a new, well my son and I put a new heater core. We put a new headliner in it, which was a royal pain because you got to take the whole interior out for these, unless you take the windshield out. And speaking of the glass, it's all good. It's all intact, no chips, no haze. Original wire wheel hubcaps that do not have the locks on it. So let's go into the interior. Interior, very nice. No rips, no cracks. There are some, uh, I guess, burns in the seat here. This is not a burn, that's like a mark. Doesn't smell like smoke, but you can see here, there's a burn. So, I'm not advertising this car anything other than what it is. The dash is really good. Up top over there, it's, it's uh, there's a screw that one of those slats is missing. Tilt wheel works, everything works, except for the air condition. Looks like it was converted over, um, and it might work. But I didn't try it because I had it in the winter times, and by the time I was done fixing this car up, it was winter time again. Back seat, oh, I did spray a little dye up top here because of the sun fade and on the back carpet. Rear defrost works. And as we get into the car, I want to show you something that a lot of people don't notice. When you look for a car that has original miles on it, let me see if I can get a clear shot. See how that seven is slightly below the five in 75,000? That means it hasn't rolled over yet. If the car had rolled over at 175,000, that seven would be a little bit higher than the five. That's a little trick for you to determine original miles. A lot of people say it's original miles when it's got a million miles on it. Here's the interior. Headliner's new. Now I had driven this car this morning to the uh, car wash. I just want to show you. Starts right up. Timing could probably be set a little bit better. You can tell that hesitation. Battery's good. Car sits in the snow. It's the snowy weather, the cold weather. A couple pumps and it cranks up and starts. This car actually was ordered with a posi rear. I don't know the gear ratio, but I just want to drive the car for you and just show you. The car sounds good. It's got a single exhaust on it. And I may put dual exhaust on it, but 
we'll see what we can do. My son actually wants to sell the car and buy something else. He's got a Torino in mind. So here we go. Second gear. And third gear. It's a three-speed transmission. I don't know if it's a turbo 350 or a turbo 200. I, I don't know. It cruises nice, and I think the reason why it's a three-speed and not a four-speed is because of the posi rear. And I didn't know it had one, and I didn't even know they came with one, but I don't know if it was special ordered. Underneath the car, there's a big sway bar that goes behind, or I guess underneath the, um, the axle. Car runs good, straight. Turn signals, headlights work. Everything runs good. And also, you'll notice in one of the pictures that the... Well, back in the early 70s and late 60s, you came with a what's called a protecto plate, which you would take that back for warranty services, and they would uh, scan it like a credit card, uh, like an old-time sliding credit card. This one still has the original stickers that Buick or General Motors had given you for warranty work, and they would take the stickers off that little card and put it onto the uh, receipt that they typed out. So that's, uh, that's actually a pretty rare thing to have with it. And I'm not claiming this car to be some sort of rare, you know, some sort of collector car. What it is, it's a big car. I love these cars. Took them to high school, going to my grandmother's house. Actually, my grandmother owned a Buick. But just a nice, big, safe car. And rides great. It cruises, people look at it. To some people, it's like, wow, look how old that car is. And they weren't even born yet. Imagine that. But anyway, that's a 1984 Buick LeSabre. I appreciate you watching. Oh, also I wanted to mention, the paint is 100% original. There was some scratches that I touched up and I actually wet sanded the scratches to blend it, wet sanded the whole car, compounded it, buffed it, and then polished it. So the paint is actually really good. You can actually see it reflecting off the hood. Um, it's got really good depth for original paint. This is a really nice car. I've driven it 600, just over 600 miles, not in one shot. Took it down the shore, um, took it to Middle State, New Jersey. Ran good, it was really nice. There was nothing wrong with it. Um, even at highway speeds with the three speed, it cruised out pretty good. The brakes squeak a little bit when you touch them, but not, not, too, not too bad. Shocks are good. Rear shocks could probably use to be replaced. I was gonna put air shocks on them. And, I leave the car here under this carport so it stays out of the elements. Just a really nice car that you'll get into. It's a turnkey car. You can do some restoration projects to it, like little weekend things that I like to say. Um, you can still take them to shows. The original radio, the back speakers are not there. They come with it. And also this thing is pretty cool at night. This whole panel here lights up like fiber optics at night, which is pretty neat and pretty uh, state-of-the-art for 82. So if you have any questions, my name is Chris. Um, my phone number will be on the ad. This is my car. It is titled, registered, and insured in my name. And really, just my son and I just want to get something else that I want him to, to learn the business. You know, and learn that, you know, you can work for your money. And um, if you do a good job, then... Uh, you can get better things. There's a little crack here. It doesn't go all the way through. Um, steering wheel is pretty good. All the power options work. The power seat works, all directions. Um, there's the limited thing. And uh, there you'll see the three speed tranny. Got three quarters of a tank. It's probably got a hundred gallon tank. Who knows? That's a joke. So that's it. Thank you. Give me a call if you have any questions or shoot me an email. Have a great day.